We got some free games to talk about. We're also hearing that some of the Call of Duty games are getting removed. Ladies and gentlemen, there will be no happy ending tonight, okay? We got a lot to go over. Let's just get right into it. Drop a thumbs up if you love your mama. Don't chase a pom pom. Chase your dreams, okay? Because coming in at our number 14 spot of our first story, this is a doozy, ladies and gentlemen. You might want to clench your butt cheeks because check this out. Square Enix sold their IPs of Tomb Raider, DSX Thief, and their studios for $300 million to embrace our group. That that happened like uh, just recently, right? And a lot of people saw that. A lot of the Square Enix fans, they also went into coma. They just couldn't even compute, right? Because all of them saw this situation and they were like, hold up, wait a minute, something ain't right. But if you that was bad, well, ladies and gentlemen, sit down because Embracer just flipped Tomb Raider alone for $600 million to Amazon. I mean, Damn, okay, damn! Are you guys out of your goddamn mind? Now, for two people that do not know what's happening, apparently Embracer Group, okay, acquired Tomb Raider and a bunch of other games for $300 million. Now, apparently, we're hearing that they have sold Tomb Raider alone, just one franchise alone, for $600 million to Amazon. <gasps> That's double the profit, Kaji. And I'm sitting here, I'm like, yo, can a brother get like six pennies or <laughs> six pennies? Because like homies couldn't even compute a lot of people going into coma. Amazon is mess up two raider. Yo, Bruh. what the heck is a two raider? <laughs> What, what's Tomb Raider? But hey man, listen, Tomb Raider is a beloved franchise. I'm kind of sus about this entire situation, okay? Is Amazon gonna give her purple here? Is Amazon gonna make her strong and independent? I don't wanna see that, okay? Because in the West, uh, women are becoming more masculine, men are becoming more feminine. If they do that, if they play that card, then I don't want it, okay? Ladies and gentlemen, we also got that finger pro king, because apparently this self proclaim number one, upside down controller player TG has now switched to Apex. Upside down controller player. He has switched to Warzone from Apex Legends and he's going for a new. Roll it. Oh, it's right there. What the hell am I doing? Right on you. I just got a full team, bro. Get out of here. I, I gotta say this after witnessing with my own eyes. He definitely has a strong finger game, ladies and gentlemen. But there was one man that does not think so. And he says that, uh, not impressive. Sh it's just a gimmick. But for this story, ladies and gentlemen, get your popcorn ready because we got massive drama. Now, this story is related to that P videos, the deep fake videos that have been going around. We recently caught a streamer, not me, but the streamer apparently got caught with his pants down. It in, in 4k by himself because he was watching some p videos some deep fake videos of pokemon he later came on he made a video he apologized his wife was crying he was crying everybody was crying i will link you that video if you have not seen it i will link you that video at the end but ladies and gentlemen that situation got so out of hands that apparently xqc is now slamming ethan klein because ethan klein was caught laughing at the situation when qt cinderella made a response and i'm just gonna roll that clip because right after he made that apology video cutie cinderella came out she started live streaming and she was crying on live stream she was talking about like deep fakes are not correct let's keep about 50 man those deep fake videos are really getting out of hands and it's uh, morally <coughs> and listen that crying is kind of understandable guys listen okay we, we all love women okay we all love women obviously the west is pushing the agenda down that females should be more masculine and men should be more feminine that's the part that we all hate right but whenever you see a feminine female out there obviously she doesn't got her bobs hanging out like other twitch streamers that reaction is genuine obviously those deep fake videos are bad for society because they're making you do things that you've never done that you never said that that apology video from that streamer that was caught in 4k that was kind of hilarious because he watched that and then he kind of like started <laughs> he started apologizing but this reaction is a completely different story and ethan klein started laughing and xqc responded by saying this roll it yo yo what's going on this guy man bro you look bro you know what this guy looks like? It looks like the f opossum that's under my f house. This mother f opossum, this piece of sh I swear, I'll catch him getting above to the side of my house. Oh, did he end it? Bruh. XQC literally said two minutes worth of statement within 10 seconds. I, I gotta clap up for this man. He fast. He fast. And later on, Ethan Klein apologizes for laughing during QT Cinderella deepfake message. Oh, what? 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 Oh
outside and the news pokemon came on and this is what she said you're not gonna believe it roll it i biggest secrets that i'm gonna reveal right now okay i don't think i've revealed this before so you say like your mute list is expanding and here's the thing my block list expands too but here's the other thing I'm not even the one blocking people. Like, if people say some weird what? shit, my replies, on God, 90% of the time, I don't see it. I really, I have people on my account blocking people for me. <laughs> and so when people are like, <laughs> when they're like, oh my God, Pokimane blocked me. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, it wasn't even me. Oh shit, oh shit. I, That's the definition of strong and independent. I never knew she was this strong and independent. I mean, smash a like button so I can be that strong and independent, Kaji, but, oh, also, I have that news. The Batman 2 is titled The Batman Part uh, I, I, the Part 2, and the film is gonna be releasing on October the 3rd, 2025. And, uh, 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 where's that guy? I, do, I don't see it, but, uh, wherever you are, shout out to the homie Ellie for adding me in the situation. Oh my god, there it is. Uh, shout out to the homie Ellie for adding me in the situation because apparently Fortnite has added first person support to multiple weapon types in BR today, and, uh, this is apparently that first person. It's coming to Fortnite. Fortnite. I have really been out of the loop with Fortnite, but it seems like that they're also getting the first person mode Are they gonna be able to kill Call of Duty? Let me know, okay? God of War also ended up selling 11 million copies and that's definitely some good news because we have been hearing that they are already working on the next God of War game So uh, that, that's actually good news and I made a dedicated video for this one already Definitely check it out on the channel because EA just confirmed they canceled Battlefield Mobile And they are now working on the next Battlefield game and they in fact say that they are in pre-production on their future Battlefield experiences so maybe like more than one game maybe we're gonna be getting like 2042 games maybe we're gonna be getting that 2077 game i'm not sure i just hope that we do not get any more heroes okay i just hope that it's not a hero shooter game because if i see that don't be sad guy one more time one more time i'ma beat y'all asses on my mama okay you effing with my game g they also said that uh, despite the apex mobile strong start the ongoing experience was not going to meet the expectations of our players so we made that strategic decision to stop development on apex legend mobile and battlefield mobile damn and quickly after the mobile community went into coma and the console peasants the pc masters they started doing helicopter with their release they started getting those puff puffs in and they went crazy okay but listen man it was not about the fact that their players did not meet expectations it is them translation they did not meet expectations because you didn't buy enough microtransactions they didn't make enough money and this is exactly why they have uh, cut the apex legend mobile but it's quite good right but let's be real guys ea mobile games are a disease so it's good that they got rid of that Call of Duty also revealed the season 2 cover and I gotta keep a buck 50 man the cover art is looking hella lit we got two baddies on the background be like uh, e -he 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 strong independent I need no man we also got the Japanese homie that Konichiwa guy back in season 2 and seriously this season 2 cover art is hella lit but is that game that lit they also ended up revealing the brand new Warzone 2 map and uh, it's uh, one of those things and Tom Anderson came out by saying that it looks like Call of Duty is going back to that 2009 gray wash look again the new Warzone map looks so dull and depressing <laughs> I'm, I'm telling y'all, man, their season two cover art is some of the littest thing ever. It's looking crazy good. The colors are popping. It's looking hella lit. And when I look at this map, I'm like, bruh, I rather see Blame's Truth balls getting dropped on a family full of cactus in his dreams. Or no, Yo, not that. Okay, oh, my bad, my bad. I rather see him say that in the video. That's that's what I meant to say, bruh. Like, <laughs> management be like, oh, yeah, everything looks good. But slap a 50% gray overlay on that bad boy to set the tone of war turns around swiftly to another dev uh hey john have you finished up on that neon pink <laughs> neon pink anime weapon skin yeah it's everybody gather around okay listen listen call of duty is not the most realistic game they do that every single year they try to come out with a realistic game and just two weeks after they add those anime bundles these are facts the amount of unrealistic stuff they add in their weapon shops the microtransaction the devil shop it is unrealistic as a motherfucker. there they can certainly prioritize fun over 
for that, but it looks like they don't want that, guys. Also, shout out to the homie Joey for adding me in the situation because Star Wars Jedi Survivor is getting delayed till April 28. And a lot of people are understandable of the situation. A lot of people are not looking like this. And uh, it is uh, quite uh, a lot of people are actually understandable. But for this story, you might want to fasten your seat belts because uh, Xbox actually came out with a massive bumble cloud. And this is what they said. Charlie until reported by saying that Microsoft is removing several Xbox 360 games and DLCs from the Xbox Store starting February 7th, including Call of Duty Advanced Warfare and Call of Duty Ghost. Again, not just that, they are removing all of these games. You can surely pause the video and read that, but Call of Duty Advanced Warfare and Call of Duty Ghost were found on the list. And I know some of you would be sitting back, you'd be like, so what did Call of Duty Advanced Warfare do wrong? What did Call of Duty Ghost do wrong? Nobody knows, but I guess uh, not many people were playing those games simply on the Xbox 360 and they were like, okay, you, you know what? We're gonna be strong, we're gonna be independent, we're gonna yank those motherfuckers out there. A lot of people are also very thankful by the fact that they did not remove Black Ops 2. You guys gotta understand that Brian Bright, who is apparently a 25 year game with, he worked on Call of Duty Infinite Warfare Zombies. He's basically a dev. He says that that sucks. Extension, digital loss of games is a travesty. Games are ephemeral. Uh, English is not my first language. Bruh. Now, it can be lost to the digital whims of the publisher or content pipe owner. Love him or hit him, but these are straight facts. Digital games can be gone just like that. But PlayStation also ended up announcing this month's February PlayStation Plus Sony Pony Games. Uh, we got Evil Dead, and that's kind of looking odd. We got Delete Delete World or whatever the bullshit squash you call that <laughs> we got destiny 2 and mafia the defective or i should say the definitive edition only gta trilogy was defective edition but ladies and gentlemen do not click this video if you are not old enough you only click on this video if you're old enough because we're talking really talking about the p videos the defect videos if you're old enough click on this video on the screen or click the video on the left either one and i will see you right there check these videos out guys and i will see you right there